Hey, it's Macro, and today we're going to try and run Valheim on my Surface Pro 7 um, using Intel's Iris Plus integrated graphics. This is the i5 model, so it's fanless. Will Valheim run? Kinda. Is it great? Not by default. So the first thing I noticed was I couldn't get it to run higher than 20, 25 frames. It wasn't a great experience. It was 15 FPS most of the time. I followed this guide by Dan S. Charlton on how to install the latest Intel gaming drivers for the integrated graphics in their new con uh, command center app on my Surface. So I'll link that in the video description. Um, that gives you access to... No, not command prompt, oops. This graphics command center. And in this app, this supports playing games with more options than the default Microsoft driver. Uh, so I installed Valheim, or I added Valheim to my list, I made an active custom profile, and I turned everything to off and texture filtering to high performance. Um, so that'll override what the game itself is trying to do. So I've got Valheim running here, and my settings are 1280 by 720 p 59 hertz make sure your refresh rate is as high as you can get it because if you set it to 30 it will cap at 30 if your system is more powerful than mine um, and then we have all the vegetation everything set to low uh, full screen is checked uh, I tested windowed versus full screen there was no performance difference but what I did find is if you set like 720p windowed you get a small window and when you drag it out it increases the resolution so there's no way to go 720p and stretch anyway just running full screen mode and then all of these extra options are turned off with that here I am standing at the uh, stones where you teleport into the game and I'm getting 28 to 30 FPS uh, so let's go run into the woods and see what happens 28 28 30 28 this is pretty playable. 23. Okay, once we start getting into the vegetation, it slowed down to 23, 27. There's a deer over there. Is that a deer or is that a monster? Let's see if I can hit him with a bow from here. It was a deer, and he did. All right, that particle explosion caused it to hitch for a second, but still pretty playable. What I could see being a problem playing like this is the big boss encounters. There's, uh, I forget if there's eight or nine bosses in the game that you beat, and those are kind of the progression that unlocks new tech for you. Um, so I could see them being hard to beat in this slower mode. Um, but if you're playing on a desktop most of the time... Ooh, 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 I made pigs mad. There we go. I could see if you had a big machine to play your big, you know, kind of raid encounters on with your friends and you wanted to log on and do this at lunch or whatever on your mobile machine to gather resources and build your base. Totally doable. Um, base building in this game works. Let me go back over here where I have something built. There's a piece of resin. Piece of candy. I built a little test base over here. You build a workbench and then you can spawn buildings in a radius around the workbench, but you get your hammer out and you pick your building parts, like if you want to put a roof on this thing. Let's pick a more sensible part. Like if you're trying to build a lean-to with a roof on each side, you rotate the part and snap it. like that. And then you can put beds and doors and whatever. You can middle mouse button to destroy a block that you've placed and reclaim its resources. But this is pretty playable. It's like steady 26 to 30. I can sprint around, jump. Graphics don't look as good. This game kind of uses a low res vibe anyway, but it has some really nice like lighting and shader effects that run when you've got a big video card. But, I mean, the main point of the game is playable this way, so I'd say you could do it. Oh, here comes a little 
grayling gremlin guy die. Oh man, his body rolled down the hill. But I'm not having trouble with any resource gathering or killing enemies like this on my surface. So yeah, I'd say it's playable on a Surface Pro. Um, if you apply the graphics, um, the new graphics driver and fiddle with your settings. And then, you know, as the game gets more development time, I'm sure they're going to optimize it a bit. I don't know if they'll fully stand behind integrated graphics, but it's something right now. It's playable. So I guess that's that's today's experiment. So I would say if you're looking for something to play only on mobile, man, Minecraft... Uh, Bedrock Edition runs pretty well on integrated graphics these days. That's probably a better experience for your money. But if you're already going to play Valheim on a big gaming PC anyway and you want to buy it for $20 for early access, yeah, you could also install it on your integrated graphics laptop and maybe have some fun, um, you know, tending to your farming, your resource gathering, or your base building. So that's my stance on it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll keep these coming if you're enjoying them. Thank you.